few days, we had a firefighter here in town that got killed. His name was Daryl Gordon, 25 year firefighter, 55 years old, athlete, father, husband. And we keep telling you guys about this, about the importance of policemen, firemen, and military. Every day these guys get up and put their life on the line, policemen and firefighters in this community, military all over the world. And so you just need to learn and understand what they do and what life's about. Those guys get up, had a nice day, go to work, one guy doesn't come home. Military, police, and firemen, there's no better people that get up and make the amount of money they make and do what they do and put their life on the line for you to be able to do what you're doing out here today in this beautiful weather. Daryl Gordon, we're gonna have about a 30 second moment of silence and then Doug's gonna have a short prayer for us and then we're gonna go home. All right, everybody hats off, take a knee. Heavenly Father, please protect us and protect this city. Bless those that protect us, our firemen and women, our policemen and women, and all of our armed services. Keep us safe and help each of us appreciate the blessings that those men and women are in our lives. We pray for the family of Daryl Gordon and firemen throughout the city and our country. Continue to bless this team and bless our great country. Amen. Amen. Whenever we uh, went down for our, our 30 seconds of silence, I mean, you could hear the sirens and you could hear, I mean, tragedy is, is everywhere. So, I mean, we, we're very lucky to have those people that are going to go out there and, and, and risk their lives to protect us. A lot, a lot of guys on our team are young and they don't really know what goes on with like the cops, the Marines, the fire, and all the guys that risk their lives for us. And we, it really is nice for Coach Tubbs to take like, just like, just to talk, just to, talk to us about it, how, how really good it is for us to know about them. Grew up in Youngstown, Ohio. My father's a police officer for 20 odd years. Uh, he's retired now, but uh, every day uh, he would go to work and put his life on the line, as well as his friends. Um, you know, and that, that's, that's pretty close to my heart when you lose a, a, a person that, uh, you know, gives their all to the community and they don't ask anything back. They don't get paid a lot. They just want to do right by people. And uh, that's a special person to do that. We want these players to understand that. We don't understand it. You know, these, these are people. You know, they're out there doing things to help their lives and them be able to do what they're doing today. And so just a tough situation. Our prayers go out to the Heavy Rescue 14, Daryl Gordon's family, uh, the city, uh, everybody involved. It's, it, it doesn't get any, any worse than this. Uh, but we want our players to understand and learn from the situation of what type of people these guys are and, and, uh, and the tough situations that they go through. They think their hard practices are hard. They don't put their lives on the line like these people do, the police and the firefighters and the military. So.